This segment of Delmarva Live is brought to you by Delaware Electric Cooperative. Well, it's another hot day here on Delmarva, and as we continue through the summer, you might be a tad worried about how the heat is burning a hole in your wallet. That's pretty good there. I kind of like what you said there. Well, Delaware Electric Cooperative knows that, and they're here to help, so they've got ideas for how you can cool down some of that heat that's on your pocketbook. Well, here's 1025 WWOC's Corey Phoebus with the important information. So 11 years ago, the Delaware Electric Co-op introduced the Beat the Peak program, which was and is an opportunity for you to save money. Now, 11 years have gone by, which means there have been some changes to take place. So I came down to the co-op and I got to go in the coolest room in the building, the command center, and talk with Bill Andrew. Bill, how are you? Great, Corey. Good to see you. This is really neat in here. This is like, like, like high-tech stuff. Yeah, it's really neat today. You know, our level of technology is improving every day. But... Uh, it was a lot busier last week when it was 100 degrees outside. Oh my gosh, that was miserable. So tell me about Beat the Peak. For folks at home who don't know, what is Beat the Peak? Well, Beat the Peak is a program, a volunteer program that we put together 11 years ago. Uh, it's very important for us because we focus on our, our membership so that we can provide them the best service at the lowest possible price. It's much more important for us to keep all of our dollars local. And using Beat the Peak program, it just means that we don't we can let our, our members pay us only what they really need to. We don't have to pay the, the other people on the grid more money for something that we don't need. When we use Beat the Peak, we ask our members to cut back whatever they can, whether it's a light bulb, a hot tub, a swimming pool, an air conditioner, set it up a couple degrees. And when you put a hundred thousand people on our system doing it all at once, it saves us an awful lot of money. In fact, it saved us $30 million since 2008 on this program. And it's all because our members want to be part of the cooperative. They understand what the cooperative means to them, and they work hard every day to make it the best cooperative in the U.S. Now, let's talk a little bit about some changes that we're looking at. Now, before there was a little meter, a little plastic meter, but we're not doing that anymore. No, we're not doing that because technology changes. I mean, nine years or 11 years ago is when we started this with this little device. It was really invented at Delaware Electric Cooperative. It is our, our uh, copyrighted trademark. But as technology changes, we want to be able to reach the mobile public a lot better. So we've developed an app. An app was done locally. It was completed and designed locally and imp implemented locally where all of our members, free of charge, can go to the App Store Type in Beat the Peak, and it will come out Beat the Peak Delaware Electric Cooperative. Install it on your iPhone uh, for free, and then we can send you messages. Allow the messages to be sent. We can send you messages. We can give you a signal. A little light bulb on there will go from green to yellow to red, depending upon where we are. And when we need to send you a specific message, we can say, we're going to do a Beat the Peak today between 4 and 7. Please do what you can to cut back, and it saves everybody money. And that's pretty neat. Now, do you remember back in the day, those, those old thermostats that had the numbers written all over them and you turn them back and forth? Technology's also kind of gone pretty far since those. Right. That was pretty easy for me to remember <laughs> all of this. Um, but uh, yes, yes, t technology has changed dramatically. And we've added a lot of technology to our beat to peak process. Right now, we're offering a special program for Nest thermostat users. And if you have a Nest thermostat, you can sign up for our program we will send you a hundred dollars um, of basically off your bill for putting the nest nest thermostat on you you do have to sign up you do have to hook it up through the web and we have control of that during our beat to peak uh, program however it always has the ability to override it in case you have a special need you have a, a, a father or mother there that needs to be kept a little bit cooler or a little baby or you can if you're having a party that night you can adjust that up for that period of time uh, once again we would control it and it's set using um, how you normally work you don't have to worry about it you don't have to go in there and change it it's all done automatically it's pretty convenient it's extremely convenient you won't even know it's happening in fact most of our members want to be part of that right now we have almost 60,000 members who are an active part of our Beat to Peak program. And every time we call for it, they step up and do their part. And finally, I would like to touch on the electric cars. How can that help? Electric cars. You know, I, I believe personally that electric vehicles are going to be um, with us very soon and they're gonna stay with us a very long time. We're still working on some of the technology, the battery technology to get a little bit better so that we can drive further. 
However, however, when you look at the electric vehicle, it's used, uh, the electric system charges it. And an electric system that we're using to generate energy is so much more efficient than a car motor. So it makes the air cleaner. In fact, in Delaware, the transportation system is the biggest polluter of the air in Delaware. This is going to help that by reducing the amount of pollution that goes in the air by the, using the cars. And not only is it, does it, is it cleaner, not only is it cleaner, it is also cheaper. The cost of electricity in operating uh, an electric vehicle, once you have own it, also is, is much less than purchasing the gas. That's very neat. Hey, Bill, thank you so much for taking time to talk with me and shedding cool. some light on this. Corey, always good to see you. Keep up the good work. This is cool. All right, folks, if you have any questions on that, you can feel free to visit our website, delmarvalife.com. Back to you. Great ideas. Yeah, Great yeah. Ideas. It's always a good idea to, when it's really super hot, to not run everything at like 5 o'clock in the evening. Yeah. I just try to avoid doing the laundry at all, but that, that's a whole other thing.